Hello everyone and welcome to yet another scrawler box unboxing and challenge. So let's see what we've got. Oh look it's it's a tiny little wrapping this time. Uh oh. We have a spill, we have a spill. Alright. Oh, oh there's a sketchbook under there. Whoa. Oh that's so cute. Okay. First things first. The print. And of course the featured artist. Alright. Oh! We went back to the, the logo sticker. Interesting. So we've got our list of supplies in our sticker. Of course, we have to start off with the candy milk chocolate eclair. Oh boy, oh boy. So the first thing we have is this Sylvine sketchbook. It's a field sketchbook. It's got 40 pages, A5 size, 140 GSM, which I don't know is pounds, and it's acid free, textured, cartridge paper for all mediums. I don't want to see if I can fill that in one sitting, but I'll think about it. Next, we have this brass bullet sharpener. Fancy, fancy. Next, we have this Edding 1800 Profi Pen Drawing Pen 0.1. So I guess it's kind of like a, a liner or something. Ooh, here's a fancy pencil. We've got this uh, Palomino Blackwing 602 pencil. I've heard about these Blackwing pencils. They're supposed to be really good and fancy. They've got an interesting shaped eraser at the tip, so that's kind of cool. And last but not least, we have these twin tip magic markers in mid, blue, gray, and pink. So those seem like some nice colors. Let's try out these supplies and see what we think about them. And then maybe I'll fill up this sketchbook in one sitting. Not making any promises, but that would be kind of cool, right? We'll see. All right, let's see what our challenge is. Do do do, Starlet. So starting off with the pencil sharpener, it was a it was a pencil sharpener. It worked well. I had no issues with it. It was really interesting to have that round shape because usually when I have a pencil sharpener, it's sort of a boxy rectangular shape. So yeah. Worked great, sharpened the pencil, and I did like how the pencil came unsharpened because that way I was forced to use the sharpener. Not that I didn't use it later on, but yeah, the pencil, it, it's a pencil like I've mentioned in the past when I get a pencil in the scroller boxes. I don't, I don't know a lot about pencils, so it just kind of felt like a pencil. The eraser wasn't that great. Um, as you can see, it kind of left a ghost. The liner was a liner, not much to really say about it. I don't normally use point ones unless I'm doing ant illustrations. It's kind of small for me, but yeah, it moved smoothly. It was great. And the markers were great. They worked fine. Um, I really enjoyed the colors I got because the gray and the pink are, I think you can really use them in different ways. Something I did find out though, is that the pink didn't really layer that well. There wasn't much of a change when you layered it. I ended up layering it like four or five times and even then you could barely tell. The gray did layer pretty well though. You got like a darker color when you did it. Okay, so let's get into drawing. So in the end, if you can't tell by the title of this video, I did end up filling up this mini sketchbook and I'm very happy that I did because I really enjoyed spending more time getting to know these materials than just a quick illustration. Normally Scrawlerbox just gives you one piece of paper and it's not like they are making me only do that much, but I did like to push myself to use these materials more and just get to know how to use them, how they can work, maybe just discovering more about them by spending a weekend with them. It was nice and I liked it. So good job me. Though it sounds like I'm talking about dating a person, but you know what? Art materials are like a person, right? They all have a personality. Wow, this is corny. What am I talking about? To be honest, I was sort of hoping that by spending more time using markers and exploring them, I would get to like them. But honestly, at the end of the day, I just, I don't think I'm a marker person. I just feel like I don't have as much control with markers like I do with watercolors. You can't add water to them and make them lighter. You can't make them darker. You're kind of stuck with that one tone. And even if you layer them, it's kind of rare that you can get a second tone. Like the pink one, I kind of feel like I really couldn't get a much darker pink. With the gray, I did feel like I could. So I just kind of feel like that markers are just sort of used by me to just add some color to sketches, which is fine. With the pencil, I just learned that I like mechanical pencils and I also really like kneaded erasers because the eraser at the end of that pencil created so much eraser dust and that is something I don't miss with my kneaded eraser. It is just so much easier to roll your eraser over the pen and not even risk the pen rubbing away, which it did with this pencil. And just not having eraser dust is just so worth it with kneaded erasers. 
but I was really happy that I gave myself this weekend to play around with the materials and sketch more. I also just felt like I was going to have this mini sketchbook and never touch it because as you guys know, I don't really sketch that much. So I thought it was a good opportunity to just blast through this sketchbook because I would never touch it otherwise. I had a lot of fun filling up this mini sketchbook over the weekend and I hope you guys enjoyed the mini sketchbook tour so let's get into that. And welcome to the sort of mini sketchbook tour portion of the video. As you can see I put the scroller box sticker on the sketchbook because it's a sketchbook themed to scroller box. So here we go. As some of you know I do like to put the date on the first page of my sketchbooks just because it's it's nice to see when it was done. I don't know sort of like a title page. And I also did tape the theme to the inside of the sketchbook. So the first person I drew was Olivia Ross. I'm, I'm not familiar with celebrities or just actors or anything. I don't keep up with that sort of thing. So when I googled like an up and coming star or starlet, I saw Olivia Ross and I thought she was kind of cute to draw. She's a French actor. And to be honest, I didn't really research much after that, so. Yep, <laughs> and as you can see, the markers do bleed through quite a bit. So technically the sketchbook's only halfway filled, but I couldn't use the other side, so womp womp. And next you can see I started to get kind of goofy right away. Um, I kind of took the theme a little vaguely cause it's kind of like a starlet, so it could be the star of anything. So I thought maybe the star of a dog show. We have a dog here who's very sad because it just wants to do doggy things, but it's stuck in this dog show. Things get kind of weird. Next we have, can you guess? Do you know who this is? It's Steph from Doodle Date. I thought it'd be fun to do some YouTubers or artists that I really like to watch. And Steph is a up and coming artist, right? She's not like super popular in the world, but on YouTube she might be. So I thought it would be cute to do Steph and some other artists that I like, but sorry, Adam, you are not a girl as far as I know. So you didn't make it into the book. <laughs> Next we have Xanth or Xanthi. She is also a smaller YouTuber and I really like to watch her videos. She's just a lot of fun. She's so happy. And yeah, I just wanted to include her in the book too. Oh, maybe she'll see it. <laughs> Next, we just have something original that I drew. It's just a girl with her guitar and I don't know. I like the way it just is. I don't normally crop my drawings or my illustrations. So I thought that was kind of a fun thing to play around with. Just showing the, the bottom portion of this character. Now this was actually the first drawing that I did in this book. Uh, none of these drawings are in order. I skipped around a whole lot. When I was thinking about like the star of something, I was thinking like the star of a show. So I did think about like a cooking show. So I do have a chef here who was cooking, but it could be just like she's the star of her kitchen or something. So yeah. Next is the singer of star, the star of the, the singing. Yeah, she's cute. <laughs> I don't know what to say about all of these. Here we have Liver and Cox. Um, yeah. I don't know. I did a few celebrity drawings, even though they're not really up and coming. I thought it would be fun to practice, you know, capturing people's likeness and having people look like them. I did post this on my Instagram story and a couple of people were able to guess who it was. So congratulations. This is Bob the Drag Queen. I thought it'd be fun to include females in another sense, like a drag queen. Does that make sense? I don't know. Either way. Uh, Bob the Drag Queen, everybody. Um, next we have another YouTuber artist. You might know her. I don't know. She's kind of up and coming, maybe. I drew her too cute. It's me. Okay, it's me. <laughs> I drew myself way too cute, though, so whoops. <laughs> oh, next we have a car. Um, I googled Starlet, and Starlet's a type of car. So there you go, everybody. A car. All right, next we have RuPaul. I thought it was really fun to do the shape of the face. Very exaggerated, but I think it was fun. Yep. <laughs> Another sort of just original drawing of someone singing. I really like the shapes of the body and stuff, so that was a lot of fun. Too many stripes though. Just too many stripes on that one. But she's cute. Next we have a porn star. They're stars too. She's up and coming. I thought it was really cute. It's one of those really simple drawings, but you know me, I like my simple. 
it was just really fun to play around with the body shape and all of that very fun i do like this one oh this one was a joke it's a starlet get it a very small star on this large page ha 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 hmm. next we have the average artist also known as steph uh she's also a youtuber artist she makes a lot of comics go check her out I wanted to focus on her faces because I think when she does her videos, she'll make a funny face like when she's talking about something she failed at or she's just not completely uh, sure of. She'll just make a funny face and I thought that was kind of funny. So that's her face. Next we have a uh, sports star, a sporty person. And next we have Dina Norland. She is also a YouTuber artist. Go check her out. You might know her from my streams. I also stream with her. She's a good artist. I love her stuff. She's a lot of concept artist stuff and uh, she's working on a book. So hopefully she won't be a starlet, but she'll be a book star one day, right? <laughs> and last but not least, we have Minnie Small. She's a another YouTube artist. And this is something that I noticed when I did her or I noticed it before, but especially with her. I tend to squish people's faces. Her face isn't this squished in and I always, I feel so bad when I do characters of people. They just, they don't look that great. So Minnie, please, please excuse me. <laughs> I hope you guys like your portraits. There's my mini sketchbook tour. I hope you enjoyed it. It was really fun. So make sure to check out Scholar Box in the description if you want your own monthly art supplies box. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.